Hola amigos, this is Somvir and welcome to Learning Bot. Giving a gist of what we did in all these videos, we learned how to create a Django project for the first time, how to create a Django application, register a user, how to authenticate an user. We got to know how models work, how forms work, how views are interconnected with the URLs. We got to know how we can save media in our website. We created different application for different purpose. In this video, we will just scratch the surface of CSS and Bootstrap to give a normal look to our website. Before diving into the CSS part, I just want to inform about Django Crispy Forms. Basic functionality of Django Crispy Form is it makes our form look good. So let's start with the Django Crispy Forms, how we can install them and how we can use them. This is the proper documentation. I will try to provide the link in the description. So first of all, as it says here, we need to install. Let's go to our editor and install. Before installing, just make sure that you are in the correct virtual environment if you have created any. We will use the command pip install django crispy forms. Once we have installed this, we need to go to our settings and in installed apps, we need to add it. Here I will add crispy forms. Let's save this or just below this or somewhere in our settings.py, we need to add this line. This line will inform crispy forms to use bootstrap 4. After this step, we will go to one of our templates where we use Django form. So I will go to lesson create.html and here at the top, we will add this tag that will load the crispy forms tag. Once this is done, we can get rid of as underscore p and we can use this character and crispy. Let's save this and run our server. If we go to our browser and go to lesson create.html, so here we can see we have create lesson. If we click on here, we can see that we are getting a very good looking form, which is much better than the previous version. So just like this, we can use it in all of our forms. Due to the time constraint on the video, I will not be able to show you completely how to add this in every form, but showing this might help you. After crispy forms, Let's dive into bootstrap and how that can help us. So if we go to getbootstrap.com, here we can get a quick start options. It gives us all the information about how to get started with the bootstrap. I am sure all of us know about it, but still I am just letting it out. So we have to provide this CSS link in our head section and also the JS script. We can use the bundle one or the separate one and we have to provide it at the last. Just going over what are the main components of the bootstrap are, if we go to components, here we can see we have a lot of things like alerts, badge, breadcrumb, buttons, card, carousal, etc, etc. So basically we can use every single of them without any cost or without any copyright. And basically I have used all these functions or the components in our site and we can see it has forms and we can get the HTML file and everything from here. As CSS and Bootstrap are very vast topics and it will not be easy to cover them in one video. So I will just give a gist of what we can do in our web page. So let me show you how I have used Bootstrap into my HTML files. So let me go to my base.html based on which my other templates are made. Here we can see I have already used this link in my head section. Also it's always better to keep the javascript files also if we don't even need them so i will paste the javascript from bootstrap like this and we are good to go once going over to the main website how it will look let me give you a gist of what we are going to do so first of all we will need to add one navigation bar one section which will be header after that another section with the cards we can get these cards from the bootstrap library we can get the buttons from there after this, we will add a section of our faculties. These are again cards taken from bootstrap. Then we will add a section of upcoming events. These can be easily adjusted to our needs according to bootstrap and some Google. At the last, we will add one footer. So let me try and show you how we can do this. So in our base.html, we already have some anchors available. So let's convert them into navbar. So if we go to bootstrap and search for navbar, here we can see we have navbar and we have different functionalities and different types. So we can use any one of them. 
so let me delete this container here and paste my custom navigation panel let me walk you through it so this is basically taken from the bootstrap and doing some modification so we will have this navigation tag under that we will have a container one significant thing is we are using if user is super user so if admin is logging in we will show him the admin button and obviously we will need to give separate urls for everyone if we save this and look at our home page so if we go to our home page we can see that our navigation panel is visible and yes we don't have any content because we deleted it if we try clicking on curriculum it is giving us the content obviously we have not done anything with the content page so it is giving like this let's go back and add one footer for us so after this end block or the block content i will add my footer here again i will just paste my code here so if we see footer also has a tag we can give some color or any custom modification we want to give and we can use rows and columns to make a grid of our content so let's save this and look at our page if we refresh we can see we have a footer let me quickly show you how to add custom css to our page so first of all let me add one header section for it header section is basically this background image and the content over it on our base.html just before the navigation button or the navigation tag i will add the header section like this if we see i'm just creating a division and i'm using rows and columns to make my data look clean just using this code let's see how our website is looking if we refresh this it is just showing the data there is no image or no proper customization so let me show you how we can add that using custom css so to add custom css first of all we need to create a static folder in our project so if i make a new folder with the name static under that we will create a folder css and under that we will create a file master css dot css we have to be very sure that we are giving the extension as dot css we have created our static and css file now we need to register it in our settings so if we go to settings and if we go at last so we need to inform django project that we are including static directory and we can use this code to inform that we are basically providing a static dir which is joining the base directory and the static after that we are giving static files directories as a list with the directory with this we are all set to use static files now let's go to master css and use some custom css i will just show an example how we can do that and what we can do so this is a simple code hashtag is basically used for ids if we go to our base.html we can see i have given an id to our division intro so in master css we can use that to give custom modifications so here i am giving a background of a image taken from internet and i am giving a mask of linear gradient and i am giving the height 100% to the intro html and body so that our whole page is covered on the first page let's see if it is making any difference on our page if we refresh this nothing is happening because we need to include master css in our base.html and how we can do that is let's go to base.html go to our head section and just like we included the bootstrap file we will need to include our static master css file so i will go here i will use link and under href i will give a custom file so here i will use static and the directory so it is under css and master css.css but we are still not done we need to load our static tag so we can do this by going to the top and using load static now we are all good to go let's save this and go to our website if we refresh this here we are getting the image and below that the data which is in the body block with this i would like to conclude this video here only because if we try to go deep into css it will be a very lengthy video i was just trying to give a hint or how to use css and custom css and bootstrap in our website now we are pretty much done with the website but once the website is developed we need to host it somewhere and in the next video we will see 
how we can host it on the free websites or the trial websites for Django and pythonanywhere.com is one of the best platform to do that Heroku is also one of them but we will be hosting our website on python anywhere of course there are professional hosting and domain giving websites but as a beginner we will see how we can host it for free on python anywhere one last thing before we go if you like the video and like the series please give a thumbs up if you are following my videos and i am able to help you somehow don't forget to share it with your friends who might need it if you are a new viewer and you find my videos helpful please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel we will meet very soon with a new video until then this is somvir taking your leave adios